Okay, James, can you can you actually just like move your knee a little bit to the left? I mean, I mean the right. No, wait. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let me get this. Uh, oh, man, I had it backwards. Okay. Hey guys, John from the Future PT here. We're back again for another telehealth toolkit video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the top questions we get when actually doing a telehealth session. How do you objectively measure range of motion? But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below and let's get started. So, instead of using one of these guys, the standard plastic goniometer, you know, some people are using this against the screen, trying to take measurements. It's kind of weird, kind of awkward. It doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna show you how to use a free tool that can be downloaded on Google Chrome, and it's gonna be more accurate, easy to use, and best of all, it's free. So, take a look at the next screenshot, and we're gonna get into it. First things first, head to the Google Chrome store, download the Protractor extension, should be the first one, add it to your browser, then head over to your telehealth app. I'm using doxy.me. Now, go ahead and click. You'll get the protractor on screen. Align the center onto the joint you wanna measure. Then you can move the arms, you can make the protractor bigger or smaller, move it along with the patient, and that's pretty much it. Try this out next time you're doing a telehealth session and let us know how it goes in the comments below. If you like these tips and you wanna learn more, go to thefuturept.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter where you'll be getting tips like these sent straight to your inbox. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit that share, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the future.